Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. This video is specific for refresh theme. If you have any other theme, then you can explore shopwebsitecodes.com and there you will be finding different codes with different themes. So now uh, the first step is like you should uh, download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. So once you are downloading the code, you will be getting these four files. And the first thing is like you should open documentation.txt. Here I have already mentioned all the steps which you need to follow and just copy and paste the code and that's it. So the first step is like go to Shopify dashboard. So here we have the dashboard of the Shopify store. Here you can see that I have installed a refresh theme and you should click on these three dots and click on duplicate so in that way later on if you want you can actually roll back to its original version if something went wrong otherwise you should click on edit code and then after you will be finding some folders and files so here in the first step we have to click on themes click on edit code click on snippets so here we have snippets folder and then the second step is like create new snippet paypal dash smart dash buttons just copy this name and then click on add a new snippet and paste it right here and click on done. So this way you will be creating an empty file here and the inside of it we are going to paste the attached code which is here. So just open this complete code and copy this and paste it inside of it. Once you are pasting that code then click on save the changes. And the next step is open sections open man-cart-footer.liquid so here we have sections scroll it down and you will be finding man-cart-footer.liquid and inside of it we need to find this line of code paste below line of code just above it so firstly we are going to scroll it down and here you will see that we have cart-errors so line number 104 and just above it we are going to paste a new line of code which is this one copy this and paste it right here and make sure if you are hovering over it you will be finding this arrow that means the valid snippet which we have created and then click on save now the next step is add your live client id of paypal in line number eight so in paypal dash smart dash buttons dot liquid in line number eight you will be finding this paypal live client id so make sure to replace this client id with your uh, live client ID of your PayPal. I will be adding the video link in the description. So you should follow that video and you will be finding live PayPal client ID. You just need to copy and paste it here. Make sure that this client ID should be surrounded with double quotes. All right. And paste your client ID. I have added the sandbox for the testing purpose. So you should uh, put it live. And if you want, you can also change the currency. For example, I have US dollars here. And if you want, you can use it Euro like EUR or maybe any other currency which you are interested to put it here. The next step, which is go to themes, click on customize, click on settings and uh, open the cart. And then you should change type of cart to pop up notification or maybe page. So firstly, go to the dashboard again. Here you should click on customize click on settings, scroll it down, click on cart and here you will be seeing like drawer. We need to select page or maybe pop up notification. I am selecting page then click on save. Now the next step is like go to assets, open cart.js and find below line of code. I mean this line of code you need to find inside of cart.js. So I am going to the code again and here you can see that we have assets scroll it down and here we have card.js so just use control f or maybe command f and uh, find this line of code you can see that we have in line number 121 and just below it we are going to add a new line of code which is this one so this is actually a function call so i just pasted that code and then click on save the changes so this was our final step and now click on preview store here you can see that I have uh, the home page, click on catalog. I have some products here. So for say example, I am interested to select this one, for example, blue one and click on add to cart. And here you can see that I have two products. First was already added to the cart and next I, second one I have just added. And here you can see that one quantity of this product and one is this. Click on PayPal. 
and just to confirm that this is working or not so i have already connected my sandbox account so here you can see that i have the option to purchase it so here you can see that we have price for one winter sweater and one new t-shirt and the total price is 60 dollars if i'm closing this for example i am in increasing the quantity of this one so this is updated and if clicking on paypal then automatically the price will be updated here you should click on it and here you can see that one sweater winter and one new t-shirt in black and if you want you can purchase it all right and then if you are interested to use your debit or credit card you should click on this button and this will open a form for your customer your customer can add the card details and billing address and shipping address and stuff and then easily purchase through their card or debit card so this feature is best for those customers who don't have the paypal account now the next thing is like sometimes people are not interested to keep this checkout button so if you are interested to remove this checkout button you just need to go to this customize and here you can see that we have these options so here you can see that we have checkout button just click on this i and it will be hided then click on save the changes and automatically the checkout button will be removed and paypal buttons will appear only so this is how uh, only paypal buttons will be displaying here one more thing is like sometimes people are not interested to keep this yellow button and only interested to keep debit or credit card button so in that case what you can do is i have already attached the code which is only credit card just copy this complete code and paste it in place of this one so just paste that code and click on save the changes and if i am refreshing this page again and now you will see that only debit or credit card button will be showing otherwise you can actually put it back like we had before so if i am refreshing now you can see that paypal button and yellow, uh, yellow button and black button both are appearing if you are interested to see its mobile view now in your mobile view it will look like this so this is pretty beautiful so i hope that this video was useful for you and uh, if you are thinking this was useful then please like this video also subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video